Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about Christian Huygens who lived from uh, 1629 to 1695. Christian Huygens after Isaac Newton was the greatest scientist of the 1600s. Born to a wealthy Dutch family in the Huygen in Holland. Now this is a story in contrast to our last story. Last time we had Carl Benz who was poor and changed the world and now we have Huygens who is born in a wealthy family and still changed the world in many ways which I will tell you about in this video. Christian studied law at the University of Leiden and the College of Orange in Breda. Before turning to science and turned to science he did. In 1655 Huygens began grinding lenses with his brother Constantinian in order to build telescope to conduct astrological research. He eventually developed in 1662 what is now known as Huygens eyepiece, a telescope with two lenses which diminished the amount of dispersion. Gagilio Gagili was the first to discover Saturn. However, it was Christian's lens that was used to determine the Saturn did not have two arms but they were actually rings of Saturn in 1655. This is the picture you see nowadays in your science books. Christian was also the one who used his improved lens to discover Titan, one of the Saturn's moons. Excelling in astronomy in 1656, Christian Huygens is also credited with building the first accurate pendulum clock which inspired with inspiration from the design of Gagilio, the design was made by clockmaster Salman Costa. As if that was not enough for an achievement for one man, Christian Huygens also decide, described light as vibration spreading through the material called ether which is literally everywhere and is made of tiny particles. The idea of ether was finally abandoned in the late 19th century, but not the idea of light waves. Everything aside, his success continued as he was the one taking the theory of light to explain refraction and correctly predicting that light would travel more slowly in glass than in air. Making less is a discovering planets, making pendulum, discovering the theory of waves and explaining refraction. How much can one man do in a lifetime? You can do that too. You can achieve whatever you want as long as you set your mind to something. All our dreams can come true if we only have the courage to pursue them. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. Don't limit yourself. Okay, this is your host Mohsen Bukhari signing out.